Hi there World Gamers, Dan, definitely a cane here, uh, bring you episode 7 in my Kings of War vlog. Um, this time it's going to be about my heroes for the army. Um, for this one I bought, the, I bought these at Salute um, quite a while ago, and this is actually a small selection of what I bought from the Heresy Stand at Salute. And, because I went a bit mental on characters. So, these are going to be my, my heroes, generals and wizards. And as you can see, they're all a bit, um, they're all female. Probably, you might not be able to see from there, but they are, trust me. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go through these one by one and we'll um, have a closer look at them. So, let's move, move them out of the way and we'll go on to the um, uh, Valkyrie woman. Uh, resume into this picture. It's a bit of um, nicely painted art. I say it's not artwork. Is it artwork? Is this painted model? Yeah, I'd say it's artwork. It's artwork, guys. Anyway, let's crack this one. Let's crack this guy open. As I struggle with packaging. So, whoop. what do we get? Get a nice card, which is something interesting. Through the thing, if you want to do that, get a, a 25 millimeter square base for some strange reason. Um, so let's have a zoom in and hopefully we can see what's going on. There we go, it's a bit better. Unfortunately, I do apologise because it looks like this one is actually the lights reflecting off this are quite badly. So um, hopefully you can, you can make out what's going on. So it's got a nice um, kind of like armour dress thing going on there. Um, it does look a bit armour bikini but... Um, well, I think we can figure that that's artistic license, so really nice little sculpt there. I'm, I'm liking it. Um, I think it goes with my, probably going to go with my shield wall. Um, so we've got a. Ah, oh, it's a bloke's head on a stick. Ah, well, of course, yeah. Why not? With an arrow, with an arrow through there, that's um, something, something different. If that's your thing, you have a bloke's head with an arrow in his eye, through his head. So, that's my um, Valkyrie woman. Uh, I think I'm going to be using her as my general. So, I'm going to go away, I'll obviously put her one side and we'll get on to the next one. So, this one, if we zoom out again into the, to the artwork, is going to be one of my wizards. So, we've got like a woman in a dress. As I, again, I should probably open these off camera, but now nah, it wouldn't be quite so fun, would it? So we've got a little um, car piece of artwork there, if, that, if, if that's a collectible thing, if you, if you could possibly use. But it's a bit flimsy, but still a nice thing to have. So this time we've got a 20 mil base. Um, but I'm not going to be using that, so we're not going to worry about that too much. Um, well, let's have a quick zoom in on this very slender model. So she's got a nice little um, blade down the side there. Quite a nice head sculpt there as well, and there's a nice shapely figure. If you excuse the pun. Oh, cheeks. And um, that'll be quite interesting as the weather goes. But again, you're probably not really seeing too much of that detail due to the lighting, but I apologise for that in advance, guys. So, on to the next one. And zoom out. And this one is another wizard. See, kind of like a seer looking lass. Is she serious? So again, we've got another little piece of card artwork. Not too, not overly impressive, but still nice to have. And this one, the twenty mil base. What do you don't want? So again, let's zoom in. So for an extreme close-up, and that's too extreme a camera, can't quite cope with that. There we go, it's a bit better. So we've got a nice um, magic ball or um, crystal ball type thing going on there. Some really nice um, sculpt on the dress she's wearing. Um, there we go, that's a lot better done. Why don't I think to do that before, Dan? So, nice looking head sculpt. Some nice interesting um, sleeves there of a very, very period outfit. 
interesting hairstyle. So, on to the next glass. I'll tell you what, I'll bring this one back in case you weren't able to see it. Oh, that's a good. It's a bit better there. And last one, the. Uh, the Valkyrie woman. So, on to the next one. Let's do a zoom out. And this one is probably going to put, play the role of a hero in my force, I think. So again, we've got another, another one of these little card pieces of artwork. It's really nice, gives you a nice example of painting. And this time we've got a, um, it's a 30mm round base. I don't quite know what, why that was going on there. Again, I'm not going to be using that anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But consistency, guys, well done. Yeah, that's a thumbs up for being consistent. Anyway, let's put the hand behind so it does something with the light. So we've got like a, a female paladin type thing going on here. Armoured body. An interestingly weird stance she's got on there. But um, I'm sure it's uh, I'm sure it's kind of possible. Um, I think we need to zoom in a bit more. There we go. Mm. That face is looking a bit weird, but maybe just the light. So she's looking kind of menacing there with that sword. I assume that's a piece of flash and not just a finger. Yeah, it's flash. That good. <coughs> So she's got a scabbard there as well, some armour, so that's looking quite interesting. Right then, and then finally let's again zoom out for the last one, which is another another wizard with, this is actually an elf I think, um, but again it's my um, mercenary force so I'm, we're not going to worry about that too much. Yeah, there we go. And finally, yes again, another piece of card with a picture of the mini on. Nice that they included that. And this one, 25mm base. So this lady comes with her her own pile of rocks that she's levitating. Um and uh, yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'm right zoomed out there. There we go. So she's got a nice piece of um, blocks there that she's levitating, nice dress, and a nice mini with some really nice hair going on there. Really going to be fun to paint this one up I think. So guys, I'm going to go away now and um, paint up all these ladies, and we'll be back in a bit to show you me my finished work. Alright guys, back in a bit. Welcome back guys, I finally finished uh, painting up these ladies. Uh, for my generals and wizards, and uh, th really a lot of fun to paint. The um, the wizards um, were really easy because basically very little um, difference in colours on them. Most of them were just like um, w one colour for the dress and uh, one for the skin, and pretty much done, or, or perhaps a boot or something like that. But some really nice models. I'm really like uh, really impressed with these guys. These ones from Harrison Models. Uh, ni nice uh, bit of individuality. So like this one's here got the um, uh, uh, what do you call it a um, crystal ball. Although I think they do a crystal. I went for more like a purple thing. I might, I might put a bit of gloss um, varnish on that to make it shiny. Um, this one did have a pile of stone, but unfortunately, me being cack handed, I managed to break it. Uh, so she's currently um, pointing her fingers at the ground to do something, but yeah, I still like it. Um, I think this one is probably one of my least favourite a lot, but still, still really like it. Um, oh dear. Their eyes not very good, but this one is the uh, the crown of my little um, little little troop, I think. The uh, little Valkyrie uh, lady. Really liking how she came out with the um, cloak and uh, like a 
leather armor skirt and some winged boots really impressive what what I did with her and really liking that model so I think she might be a, a general or, or actually a, a an honorary uh, standard bearer but on to the um, surprise models that, that you didn't see before um, I had this guy because I, I, I didn't have any mounted characters so I wanted like a hero or a general bloke uh, I've had this guy knocking around um, and a Bretonian horse for quite some time he was event it was at one point going to be a vampire but never got around to painting him so he's now a um, general for my kingdom of men in the um, army colors so he's got the, um, the red white and green uh, of the army and obviously the uh, St George's cross to go with the Templar uh, guys um, golden armor like the um, the pikemen and the Spartans so he kind of ties it all there so I'm really impressed with that guy I really look like that model I think he, he was an old dogs of war general at one point possibly I think um, on to the last one which is just a was an empire um, excuse sorry sorry camera shake there guys was a, an empire warrior priest and I, th I just saw this guy in my collection and thought you know what he's, he's perfect for that Kevin Hart's flying hammer I've just got to have him as a hero and I've, I've given that hammer to go throw at people so um I think that's what I want to do. So we've got a uh, nice little scarf through his eye there. Really nice model this one. I really like this one. Actually the first thing I did a little, little bit of a... Well I say script work. It's just a little black squiggles. But it adds to the, the look of the model. Even though there's not really a uh, rule of a warrior priest. He might just be a hero or, or a battle stand and bear. I don't know. It depends what I'm, what I'm doing. But um really turned out quite well and, and because it's um he's a character and he's uh, i know you've seen him before guys but i saw as the command posse or um troop was all gathering together thought i'd get him in a group shot okay guys uh, uh, on to the showcase for these guys uh, get some more uh, better pictures of these guys and uh if you don't like what you see, guys, please hit the like button, it really helps me out. Uh, drop a comment below of, of what you thought of the video and the contents of what they're of, obviously. Any um, comments and uh, criticism or whatever. Um, yeah, hit the like button if you haven't already, and subscribe if you haven't already for more Kings of War content. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Speak to you later. Bye bye.